Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, and I'm here for another top five list video for you guys. Now I know it's been a little while since I've done one of these top five list videos, but I figured that I would do one for this band. As a matter of fact, I've always wanted to do a list for this band. So for this video, I'm going to be going over my top five favorite Fate's Warning albums. Now, Fate's Warning, definitely a great band, one of my favorites within the progressive metal subgenre for sure. They are one of the pioneers. Uh, I am kind of a newer fan of theirs too. Uh, I've only been a I've only been a fan since 2019, and the album that got me into them was No Exit. Now, making a top five list for this band is really difficult because they have a lot of great albums. I know some people have said that they've never released a bad album. Um, I might agree with that, even though I think some of them are just average at best. But yeah, especially when it comes to the some of their more modern stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and get in, into this top five. So at number five, I gotta go with their latest album, Theories of Flight. Yeah, definitely a great album. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. Um, obviously, I am aware of the new album that they have coming out in November, and I'm definitely looking forward to that. But this, as of now, is their latest album, Theories of Flight. And yeah, I think it's a great album. I think it deserves to be a number five for me. A lot of great songs on here, like um, From the Rooftops, Seven Stars, uh, The Light and Shade of Things. Yeah, definitely some great stuff on this album. So Theories of Flight, number five. Now, next up at number four, I know some people would personally put this in their top two. Uh, I think if it was still last year, I would have put this in my top two, since this was the album that did get me into the band. And you guys know what it is. No Exit at number four. Yeah, definitely a great album, definitely a classic. Um, I think the reason I have this lower than in my top two is because, well, obviously, whenever I became a Fates Warning fan, I pretty much played the crap out of this. Like, I remember when I first became a fan, I mainly listened to, like, two or three albums from the band, and this was one of those albums. So maybe I just overplayed it a little too much, if you know what I mean. Uh, and that's why I'm kind of like, eh, you know, I don't care if I hear these songs for a while or whatever, especially uh, Anarchy Divine and Silent Cries, even though I think those are great songs. Those are definitely excellent songs. Uh, there's other great songs on the album, too, like In a Word and um, uh, Shades of Heavenly Death and The Ivory Gate of Dreams, pretty much every song on here. I don't think there's really a weak moment on this album, but yeah, um, it is a big album for them, too. It is the first album with their current vocalist, Ray. But yeah, No Exit, definitely a great album. So that's what I have at number four. So next up at number three, I'm going to have to go with Awaken the Guardian. Yeah, definitely a solid album for sure. Um, I think fans of power metal would really like this, and fans of more fantasy type uh, metal stuff would really dig this, would really dig this album. This is this is an album that does feature the original vocalist for Fate's Warning. Um, definitely a solid album. I mean, you got Valley of the Dolls, Guardian, Prelude to Ruin. I mean, definitely a lot of great stuff, but yeah, Awaken the Guardian, definitely a great album, definitely a classic, uh, definitely worth checking out. Now, these top two could be interchangeable, I guess. I don't know, but at number two, um, I'm going to have to go with Perfect Symmetry. Yeah, definitely a great album. Um, there's really no going wrong with this album. There's a lot of great songs on here. Uh, like through different eyes, uh, at fate's end or fate's hands. My my bad. Um, nothing left to say. I mean, a lot of great songs. I mean, I don't think there's a weak moment on this album, but those are some highlights for me personally. But yeah, Perfect Symmetry, definitely one of their best. I I had to place it at number two. Now here's something to keep in mind. These albums could be interchangeable. Sometimes my opinion might change here and there about certain albums. Like maybe I'll have days where I prefer one over another or whatever. Because with Fate's Warning, there's really no going wrong with them. But 
at number one, I mean, for as long as I've been a fan of Fate's Warning, I've pretty much always considered this to be my favorite. I still might to this day, but I don't know. But like I said, uh, my opinion could change any time. But for now, at number one, I got to go with Parallels, which is a uh, really big album for them. So Parallels is what I have at number one. And yeah, definitely a solid album. It is one of their darkest albums, even though it is more commercial. Uh, I still think it has... Uh, a kind of a dark sound to it, um, but there's a lot of great songs on here. Uh, I don't think there's a weak song on this one either, but some highlights for me would be Leave the Past Behind, Life in Stillwater, The Eleventh Hour, Point of View, The Road That Goes On Forever, We Only Say Goodbye. I mean, there's a lot of great tracks on this, but yeah. Uh, Parallels, that's what I have at number one, uh, so there you have it. That is my ranking for the Fates Warning albums, or what I would say are the top five Fates Warning albums, that is, in my opinion. Obviously, it's not a whole ranking of their discography. Um, maybe I'll do a full ranking sometime in the future, but, you know, as of now, I had to give you my top five for Fates Warning. So let me know what you guys think. What are your top five favorite Fates Warning albums? Or if you want to rank their entire discography, that's cool too, so... With that being said, let me know what you guys think of my top five ranking for Fate's Warning. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and take care.